everybody when they come here they go back to when they were kids. I'm originally from Spain and when I walk the trails I think about my grandfather, I think about my father, I think about growing up in nature. My name is uh, Maika Llorenz Gulari or Maika Blue Whale, my nature name, and I'm the lucky executive director at the Slide Ranch. So I came here about 12 years ago with a, on a field trip with my son and um, I immediately fell in love with the place. The property uh, is 134 acres of coastal land. It's pretty unusual to have a farm that is right on the coast and also that is wildlands. Slide Ranch sits on Coast Muir territory that was used for seasonal hunting and fishing before it was taken over by the California government in 1851. It was later purchased by Portuguese dairy farmers in the late 19th century. By the 1960s, it had been overrun by drug dealing cowboys and plans were made to develop it into a commercial space. In 1969, Slide Ranch founders Doug Ferguson and Huey Johnson worked to purchase the land to prevent commercial expansion. When the ranch was in need of funding in 1970, Jerry Garcia, frontman of the Grateful Dead, gave $500 to get the place up and running. My name is Julie Hartman and I'm the Director of Education. I think Slide Ranch is a very unique place because we're a nonprofit organization that is a park partner of the Golden Gate Na National Recreation Area, so we're on national park land. The location is so spectacular. It's really uh, just a privilege to get to wake up here every morning. I love how every day is different. My name is Jessie, Jessie Mistacetti, which is a baleen whale, that's my nature name, and my job is program manager here. So the mission of Slide Ranch is to plant kids in nature and have them establish a connection, and I think that that's really the key. Coming out here to the ranch and having a positive experience in nature that makes you want to come back. So our programs are place-based, they are nature-focused, so we really try to make the most of you know, being on site and having these direct experiences, um, having kids make observations and use all their senses and, and get curious and ask their own questions. Place-based learning enhances a child's interest in sustainability, helping to build a lifelong appreciation for the natural world. This gives developing youth an understanding of where they live while encouraging them to take action in their own backyards. I do environmental education because I think it's an awesome opportunity for students who maybe don't do as well sitting down in the classroom and like listening all the time to come out and explore and have those tactile experiences. I really believe that it's a special way to be out and smell things and hear things and see things and taste things in the garden that you don't get to do in a classroom and it really expands learning in a very different way. We are teaching them to grow it in a sustainable way that is not only good for our own health, our physical health and also mental health, but for the health of the planet. We strive to be a sustainable community and to model that and we're always um, striving to improve and reduce the waste that we produce and find, find ways to you know, use more renewable energy. Um, reduce our plastic use, um, reduce food waste, and just try to minimize our footprint. Through the use of their new building, Slide Ranch expresses the sense of sustainability while being able to provide additional learning opportunities for kids. The building incorporates many sustainable aspects, such as a live roof and reused building materials. It also houses a commercial kitchen and classrooms, which has allowed for new learning programs where kids get to collect and produce food and turn it into a meal, building strong connections with nature. This building is essential to the program Slide Ranch runs, providing a place for kids to have hands-on experiences. So our new building is the Farm to Table Teaching Center, which really connects to our mission. And it's right in the heart of Slide Ranch too, which is really special. This building has really allowed us to continue programs no matter what weather we have. And, uh, and this is a great place to come together. So we started doing farm to table uh, dinners last year. And, and it's really fun. People come with uh, maybe one or two people. They don't really know anybody, but by the time they finish the dinner, they have become friends. So it's a great way to bring the community together. We hope that all of the people who come here feel a sense of connection to public land um, and wanting to protect this resource for, for everybody and also feel inspired to um, 
to learn more about where their food is coming from so that they can have more of a connection with the earth and the resources that we all need to be aware of and protect. I hope that by coming here, students learn that nature isn't just some random place far away at Slide Ranch, but it's around them everywhere and they can connect to it in so many different ways.